guys so i'm on my way to college right now to go take my exam or test or whatever yeah you can do that I'll hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a 48 hour study vlog what well, is technically 72 hours yeah i have um an exam in a few days um three days so i'm going to be revising for that and taking you guys along with me let's just get right into it it just ripped like out of nowhere i was just writing and i didn't do anything and it just ripped but i'm not really surprised i don't think it was my fault because it was literally hanging on by a thread and this is what the thread looks like <laughs> i was just sitting like doing work and then suddenly it just goes look at how chunky and like beefy this post-it note is sticky note whatever you guys want to call it so i think i'm gonna do a little bit more um questions and then i'm going to show you guys my nighttime skincare i get stressed out quite um easily and quite often uh which is why having a really good skincare routine helps with like stress pimples it is so important if you're like me that you have a self-care routine during exam season to avoid burnout i don't know it's just good for you mentally physically everything just taking care of yourself especially during exam season to keep you going it doesn't just have to be like academic like exams or anything if you're under stress take care of yourself don't stress out over things you can't really control you know like if you're stressing out about like what someone else will choose or what someone else will say don't because that's kind of like out of your control i have not learned that lesson yet i stress out uh way too much but uh once i do <laughs> i'll let you guys know Welcome to my crib. Okay, so here I'm cleansing my face using the La Roche Posay Efficlear Cleanser. I don't really know what it's called. Um, I don't know if I pronounced it right, so please don't judge me because I'm not French. But um, yeah, I'm just showing you how to wash your faces. And I don't know why I spent so long washing my face or showing you guys how to wash my face, but i'm pretty sure we all know how to wash our faces but don't miss your neck guys your neck is so important um please remember to clean your neck that's my baby sister so the first thing i use is <coughs> I don't normally use this except for when I feel like I'm going to break out. The Ordinary 
nice to my so i have my mirror over here and i am doing my skincare at my desk because i can't really put my camera anywhere, anywhere else where the lighting would be like actually decent with this more is less i think you should um build up your resistance to this product because it does have acids next thing i use is also um by la roche posay i hope i'm pronouncing that right i'm pretty sure it's french and i don't know french so um please bear this uh it's the Efficlair duo plus um anti-imperfections unclogging care and anti-marks i feel like people although everybody says this people still neglect their necks and it's so important to get your neck cool because it needs love just as much love and attention as the rest of your yeah so massaging my eyes helps with the swelling um and it helps with the twitches that i sometimes get in my eye and it's it's quite unsettling whenever like your eyes twitch so next i go with this oh i forgot to show you guys um bioderma <laughs> like a beauty guru bioderma yeah you can read that i'll link it down below if i can find it i struggle a lot with acne scars um so if you guys have any suggestions for products that um reduce the appearance or acne scars <coughs> the appearance of acne scars please please comment them down below because i'm in desperate need of something like that and literally if you go a few months back um, to my old videos from six or seven months ago you will see i'm using some basking by the way uh you will see how bad my skin was and how horrible those that cystic acne i think it was it was so painful remember guys all the products that i've shown you just now from my skincare routine might not work for everyone they worked for me and obviously this video is not sponsored so i'm giving you my honest opinion but all of the products that i've used are definitely worth a try yeah it might not work for you just keep that in mind um yeah everybody's skin is different and everybody's skin reacts differently to different creams for today um i did a lot of questions uh, my face is washed i've done my skincare i've brushed my teeth so i'm ready to get right into bed and sleep because i'm exhausted and i didn't get enough sleep yesterday i probably won't be getting enough sleep today either but you know It is 48 hours before the exam and unfortunately the school wasted like most of my day today i had to go to this personal development workshop thingy and like we had to stay there for ages and for like two of them and then there was even a delay so it took even longer it's me editing i'm filming this on photo booth because i'm just that quirky so you remember how i said i wasn't gonna waste any more time I was a lie because I actually ended up going to McDonald's with my parents S instead of studying for the test that I had in literally two days. It's fine. I wasn't too worried because I had already like revised the day before and the day before. I'll let you guys get back to the video. phone 
is being really annoying right now and it's telling me that i have no storage left but i've literally deleted my entire life from my phone and i don't know what else it wants it is now almost 11 and i'm just going to start studying today because i got nothing done throughout the day i feel like i've messed up my sleep schedule really bad because i was doing like really well and like waking up really early until i wasn't i'll just keep revising for the biology test and i don't know now wednesday and we are officially less than 24 hours away from the exam and i have my coffee i have my everything ready um i'm feeling kind of nervous uh <laughs> if i don't get a good score i feel like i'm gonna be less confident for the actual mock my academic people will know the pain let's get to revising um i already did some um this morning a little bit off camera some of the content that I find a little bit harder uh, and then I'll do some more exam questions on that. I just pop in to let you know that i have a headache and it won't go away this rate i feel like i'm gonna get like stress pimples or something probably do like a few more hours um maybe like one hour and then have dinner and then get back to doing some work and then try to have as much sleep as possible headache that would not go away so i had to take some um painkillers for that but 
um, right now I'm just going to some of the last things before I go to sleep because I do have to wake up early tomorrow um, to get to school and to get to the exam on time. will not let me do anymore so Okay guys, so I just did the test and um, I just came back home and I honestly can't tell if it went really good or really bad but like I'm, I'm ho I feel like I answered to the best of my abilities and that's all that I could do. We'll see, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on whether I'm happy with what I got or not when I do get my results back. Uh, which probably won't be in a while because that was a really long test uh, and uh, yeah I thought I was gonna run out of time uh, but I I finished with like one minute left to check my answers so one minute is better than no minutes so I'm grateful <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if uh, you did enjoy the video or not and um, I don't know if you have any like video suggestions uh, thank you once again for all the love uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye